Hi, everyone. I am going to um, demonstrate using GeoGebra to do the explore activity for 11.1 um, for those of you who might be having trouble. So you have two options when you come to the home page of GeoGebra. You can use the new version GeoGebra Geometry or you can go to GeoGebra Classic. I'm going to use this one because um, I think the controls are a little easier to find and um, it matches the phone app that some of you might have. So um, if you look here, I'm going to open up more tools because I'll be using those. So we're asked, first of all, to just create a line. And so I'm going to do that. And I'm just clicking where I want some points. So there's my line AB. Um, if I want to put another point somewhere, I can do it here. And notice it's just naming them in alphabetical order. I could rename them if I wanted, but I don't, I don't need to. So now I'm asked to construct a parallel line. So usually the tools are, um, the pictures are giveaways. So here's the parallel line tool. And if you're not sure, it pops up below it. So I'm gonna click on it. Um, down here, it tells me to select a point and a parallel line, and it's going to create a line through that point that's parallel to that one. Um, what's cool about this is now if I, I clicked on the arrow over there, if I want to move point A, notice the lines move together to stay parallel. So in this, in this um, diagram that I'm creating, the lines will um, always be parallel. Okay. So I'm going to put another point on this line, and now I'm going to construct the transversal. So I'm going to go back to my line tool. I'm doing this really quickly, so you can pause and rewind if you need to. So now I have my diagram. And again, what's cool about this is I'm going to go back, use the arrow move tool. I can move the parallel lines like I showed. I can also move the transversal around. I can move it slanting against the parallel lines at a different angle. Okay, so now I want to name these intersection points so that, and notice it popped up line G and H, so I know I'm getting the intersection, and same thing down here. Okay, so there's my intersection points. So now all the angles are named. Um, and I can start putting some measurements on. This gets a little tricky and sometimes messy. So, uh, but this is the angle measure tool. So we're gonna do that. Um, down below the help says to select three points or two lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and let me click it again just in case it's been too long. I'm gonna select that line, whoops, see? I didn't select the line, it gave me a point. I select that line and that line. Okay, and it gave me that angle between them. Um, the other thing I can do is to select three points. Let's see how this works. Sometimes it doesn't do the angle that I want and I just do it over again. Okay, but it did that time. Um, notice it can be kind of hard to read too. Let me do one more of these. Let's do this. See, once again, I selected a point, not the line. I just backed it up and this line. Okay, so there's that angle there. Um, so now I've got a couple angles. So if I move, I gotta go back to my arrow, the arrow, this arrow tool allows me to move things. So I can move this point, it moves the line, and notice the angle measures um, are changing, but the angles, the corresponding angles still have an equal measure. So with this diagram, you should be able to complete explore activity um, one in module 11. So, okay, hope that was helpful. And um, that's it. Enjoy.